Good morning, everyone. A quick morning audio grain notes here. I know many people are out there busy in the field. So uh, we'll mention the overnight trade as of this recording as corn down two, beans up three. That puts corn at 523 and a half, beans at 1285 and a half. Uh, we're expecting slightly poor exports for corn. Uh, we are expecting that exports will continue strong for beans. Uh, that has been the pattern here lately that corn exports, uh, well, they continue to be poor. Uh, we did have a good week a couple weeks ago, but last week was down to 249,000. Um, again, for any type of support from this weekly export sales, that needs to be a million tons or more. So 249,000 well short of what we need. Last week for beans was uh, 1266. That's uh, plenty solid enough to expect a, a similar number this week and strong sales again. Over in wheat, we've seen 13 disappointing weeks in a row up until last week where we got 617,000. Any number, 500, 600,000 would be good enough for light support there, mainly in the Chicago wheat. So uh, expecting poor corn sales, solid bean sales, and maybe we can get a second week in a row of strong wheat sales. Uh, yesterday shows again that we need to be paying attention to renewable fuel headlines. Uh, they still cause uh, a dent in the market as they did yesterday. After a strong morning trade, we saw a pretty decent little pullback uh, when they announced renewable fuel mandates for the upcoming years. Uh, the numbers are only estimates so far. We don't have the official numbers, but the estimates are lower than 2020 for both this year and next year. Uh, so that's why each time we see one of those headlines, we see a setback. Once we get the official numbers, we should again expect uh, some type of market reaction immediately. But uh, I think we have enough estimates and, and enough numbers like that that we can we could say that the, the reaction is probably going to be minimal unless the numbers are truly drastic. Uh, switching over to the cattle, uh, we did get a 124 cash trade. That's 50 cents higher. We, we saw that yesterday, so that's 50 cents higher. It's really tough to tell if funds are still selling this market. Uh, we are seeing no signs of fund uh, sell volume spikes, the big volume spikes on the sell side that kind of points out that that was probably fund selling and we have not seen a decline in open interest over the last couple days so we can say for the fund side of cattle that maybe they're done of course uh, the buyback or the recovery will be slow because cash while moving higher is moving higher at an average of 50 cents a week and also there are still plenty uh, of traders out there cautious because we're not entirely sure that funds are done buying yet, or sorry, liquidating yet. Uh, so that's what we have over there in cattle. Would expect at least a little bit more cattle on feed pre-buying ahead of tomorrow's report. The report itself is actually expected to be neutral. Uh, so we'll see what we get from the report, but we've seen tra uh, traders pre-buy this report even when it was expected to be negative. Uh, so we'll see what we get from that tomorrow, and we see, we'll see how trade goes today. Hopefully a little bit more support. Uh, if anyone has any questions, give me a call. But uh, we are going to be looking for resistance in corn at, at around uh, that 530 level, and for beans right around 13. That's where we saw resistance last time, so that's where we're expecting it again here uh, this week as well. If anyone has questions, just give me a call when you can. Thanks.